Now listen to this, a new artificial intelligence tool is taking the tech world by storm, but its ability to create comes with some challenges. The new AI called ChatGPT can be used to answer a question, but it can do much more. In seconds, the program writes a document that looks very much like a human wrote it. ChatGPT can tackle complex questions as well, like topics that might be assigned for a high school essay. And that has many educators worried. Some schools have already banned access to the technology on school networks and devices. But Princeton undergrad Edward Tyen believes that he has a solution. He created GPT-0. Teachers can use it to determine if something was written by a human or an AI. Have you heard from any students out there that are a little frustrated with you? <laughs> yeah, so the reaction has been pretty astonishing. I've been hearing from teachers all over the world that have reached out. A lot of them have been trying out GPT-0 and saying it actually confirmed some suspicion. Well, he is still looking to improve his technology, and so is the company. Developers are reportedly ready to release a more powerful AI in the coming months. And Darcy, I mean, this is the new age. Things are moving more into the technological age. And how do you, as a parent, kind of navigate that? Because, I mean, you got your cell phone right there if you want to look up something. I'm just still stuck on the fact that he wrote the code and he cracked the code. He did do it. He I, did I'm do not it. even sure how I feel about that. And I think, you know, as a parent, you, you just teach your kids this is the right way to do something. Mm -hmm. Talk to them about plagiarism and cheating and all that other stuff. But I think educators are now going to be tasked with trying to find a different way to figure out whether or not the student actually understands That's right. the material. You know, we talked about this in the newsroom with Grace, our producer. There was a point in time when you couldn't use a calculator. Yes, I was just thinking that. Yeah. You know, you, you talk about, you know, learning the actual numbers and it's kind of like, well, I'm just going to grab my phone and, and write it really quick. And do you retain that knowledge even if you learn it? What is education going to look like in the years ahead with the new technological age? Okay, here's a, here's a thought. Think about parallel parking and now the new cars where you can just kind of parallel park or mm -hmm. they park themselves. Mm -hmm. It's just a different age. Will we even need those skills anymore? I think everybody needs to know how to parallel park. And if you don't know how to parallel park, just find another parking space because there are too many people <laughs> whose cars are banged up by people who can't parallel park. And that's so far removed from how we started this conversation. But um, yeah, there, it, there are challenges um, with education and my hat's off to teachers because that is not an easy job. All of us are who we are because of an educator. That's right. So that's we've right. got to give them more credit for the hard work they do in the classroom every day. So good luck to y'all with the new AI. 